are gonna wrap up our tour of the Fisherman's Wharf clam chowder scene at the Funky and Hipster Argonaut Hotel. Located right next to it is its hotel restaurant, the Blue Mermaid Chowder House and Bar, which was originally opened in 2003, but was renovated in 2017 to match the reno of the hotel. Both are located in the historic Hassett Warehouse, which was opened in 1909 as the Del Monte Cannery. For those that love a little variety, they've got three different types of chowders that you can order as a trio of chowders. There is what I call a San Francisco style crab and corn chowder, the red Manhattan style chowder, and of course your traditional New England white chowder. It's no longer on the menu, but ask your server for a variant of the trio combo, which is on the menu. Well, all three are stellar. Their true standout is the crab and corn chowder, which is made with crab stock, bacon, celery, onions, papilla peppers, potatoes, cream, cream cheese, and lots of tasty chunks of Dungeness crab and corn. It's spiced with some old base seasoning, chipotle, jalapeno, thyme, and topped with a cilantro pesto. Take a look at how tasty that looks. Mm. That is just chock full of veggies and bacon and crab. It's got this nice smoky, cheesy taste to it. And even though it's not spicy, you can definitely taste the peppers in the back of your throat and the scallions and the cilantro drizzle add a really nice punch to the whole thing. Okay, moving on to the Manhattan Red Chowder. Lots of onions, potatoes, parsley, and celery in there. Mmm, there's this really nice sweet acidity from the tomatoes, and I think they're using some sort of a clam stock in this because I can definitely taste that uh, clam underneath it all. Oh yeah, look at the tomato bits in this one. Mm. There's some really big fatty pieces of bacon in this, but I'm not seeing any clam bits. So I think the clam in this clam chowder is purely the clam stock. And as with the crab chowder, the bits of vegetable in these are still really nice and crunchy. So there's fantastic texture to both of these soups. With each bite, you get this like fresh burst of veggie flavor. Okay, last but not least is our traditional New England style clam chowder. Very thick and creamy. Yum, yum. That first bite was smoky ham. Ooh, that one had clam in it. It was huge, very fresh and tender. It was so big, it was almost the size of a small oyster. This one is topped with chives, which is a really nice accent flavor. Again, chock full of ingredients. Really nice big pieces of potato and celery. And this time they put on some croutons on top, which is really nice. Get that crunchiness and the creaminess all together. That was really outstanding and my favorite chowders thus far. All right. Let's get out of here. There's more chowders to taste and more of San Francisco to see. 